So in this portion of the video, we are going to talk about deaccessing a central line, uh, specifically a port. So the first thing that you'll want to do is wash your hands. And we took the tegaderm off of the patient already since he has a tendency to stick to our fake skin here. So after you wash your hands, this is also considered a clean procedure, not a sterile procedure. So you'll get regular gloves and you'll wanna get a 10 cc syringe. In this situation, these syringes are fine. You don't need to use a sterile syringe. And you will clean the hub of your line. If you have a, one of the orange caps on there, that's adequate. If not, you wanna do your twist 10 to make sure that's nice and clean before you hook up to it. So moving forward, we no longer are gonna need heparin when deaccessing lines. Saline has been shown by INS and ONS to be effective. Uh, so heparin will no longer be a part of our order sets. What's more important is the actual technique that the nurse uses to deaccess. So this is like we did with troubleshooting. You use that push pause, also the pulsatile. So you're using quite a bit of pressure every ML. And then I'm gonna stop there because I kept that bubble. And you'll wanna do 10 to 20 cc's of that pulse tile push pause motion. And then clamp the line. When you go to deaccess, you will put two fingers on top of the clear wings that you see on there, like I showed you in the first video, that is what is gonna activate your safety. You're gonna use your other hand to take these yellow wings and hold them up. So while you're holding these against the skin, you will pull this back, you'll hear a snap. And that snap is what engages the safety. You can put a Band-Aid on the patient and they're good to go. And that's it.